हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू न्यू क्लास टुडे क्लास इज अबाउट द इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू टू वाट वीटर मेथड मेशरमेंट ऑफ पावर लेट इस गो थ्रू दि प्रॉब्लम्स इन ए टू वाट मीटर मेथड टू मेशर पवर इन ए थ्री फेस सर्क्यूट इट वाज फाउंड दैट द टू वाट मीटर्स रीड थ्री किलो वाट एंड वन पॉइंट फाइव किलो वाट रेस्पेक्टिवली determine the total power consumed and the power factor of the balanced three phase circuit so the watt meter readings are w1 is equal to 3 kilowatt and w2 is equal to 1.5 kilowatt so the total power consumed is w1 plus w2 equal to 3 plus 1.5 equal to 4.5 kilowatt now to find the power factor power factor is equal to cos phi and is equal to cos of tan inverse root 3 w1 minus w2 divided by w1 plus w2 that is w1 and w2 are 3 and 1.5 after solving this we will get the power factor as 0.866 let us do another important problem each branch of a three phase star connected load consists of a coil of resistance 4.2 ohm and reactance 5.6 ohm the load is supplied at a line voltage of 415 volt 50 hertz the total power supplied to the load is measured by the 2 watt meter method find the watt meter readings so the question is to find the watt meter readings so we have to find w1 and w2 the given data are vl is equal to 415 volt frequency 50 hertz resistance 4.2 ohm reactance xl is equal to 5.6 ohm because it is coil impedance per phase is equal to r plus j xl That is equal to 4.2 plus J 5.6 ohm. Let W1 and W2 be the two watt meter readings. And for a star connected system, V phase equal to VL by root 3, and is equal to 415 divided by root 3. That is equal to 239.6 volt. Now we can calculate I phase equal to V phase by Z phase. But Z phase is equal to square root of R square plus X L square, and that is equal to seven ohm. So I phase equal to two thirty nine point six divided by seven, that is equal to thirty four point two three ampere, and it is star connected. So line current equal to phase current, that is equal to thirty four point two three ampere. Now the power factor cos phi is equal to R by Z, that is, four point two divided by the magnitude of Z equal to point six. Therefore, phi is equal to cos inverse of point six, that is fifty three point one three degree. Now, the power input is equal to root three VLIL cos phi, that is root three into four fifteen into thirty four point two three into point six, that is fourteen point seven six two. kilowatt and the input power is nothing but the total power that is w1 plus w2 equal to 14.762 kilowatt now we have tan phi equal to root 3 into w1 minus w2 divided by w1 plus w2 that is tan of 53.13 equal to root 3 W one minus W two divided by W one plus W two is fourteen point seven six two. That is one point three 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 equal to root three W one minus W two divided by fourteen point seven six two. From this we get W one minus W two equal to eleven point three six one kilowatt. Put us equation one and W one plus W two is fourteen point seven six two kilowatt. And it is equation two. Now solving these two equations, we will get the W one and W two. That is by adding these two equations, we will get the 
2w1 equal to 26.123 that is w1 equal to 13.06 kilowatt now subtract equation 2 and equation 1 that is 2 minus 1 equal to 2w2 equal to 3.401 that is w2 is equal to 1.7 kilowatt so the watt meter readings are 13.06 kilowatt and 1.7 kilowatt let us go through another problem two watt meters have been used to measure the power input to a 100 kilowatt 400 volt three phase induction motor running at full load the watt meter readings are 75 kilowatt and 40 kilowatt calculate the input to the motor power factor of motor line current drawn by the motor and the efficiency of the motor so the given data are w1 equal to 75 kilowatt and w2 is equal to 40 kilowatt and here the output of the motor is given now we can calculate the power input the power input to the motor is the sum of watt meter readings that is w1 plus w2 equal to 75 plus 40 that is equal to 115 kilowatt now we can calculate the power factor power factor is equal to cos phi that is equal to cos of tan inverse root 3 w1 minus w2 divided by w1 plus w2 that is equal to cos tan inverse root 3 75 minus 40 divided by 75 plus 40 and we get the power factor as 0.884 now we have input to the motor as root 3 VLIL cos phi that is root 3 VLIL cos phi is equal to 115 into 10 raised to 3 watt from that we get to the line current IL is equal to 115 into 10 raised to 3 divided by root 3 into 400 into 0.884 that is line current is equal to 187.76 ampere now the output of the motor is given as 100 kilowatt and input is 115 kilowatt then the efficiency of the motor is output divided by input into 100 that is 100 divided by 115 into 100 and is equal to 86.95 percentage thank you for watching the class if you like the classes please like share with your friends and subscribe for more classes.